Okay, today we are trying to adjust the shifting points on this uh, C4 automatic uh, transmission here, my Ford. Um, I recently put a kick down rod on it and um, shifting points still aren't right, but I do have my passing gear, so that's cool. Um, so I discovered that these transmission governors, these vacuum modulators as they're called, they're adjustable and you can screw them in uh, to, I guess, cut off the vacuum and, and it'll alter the how the transmission shifts. So we got to get access to that thing. And uh, to do that, well, first we got the car jacked up safely here with the jack stands. And then we got to have the um, transmission supported here. We got it properly done with the wood block in our jack up on the pan. And uh, you can also do that with the engine oil pan too, if you need to brace that for any reason. Uh, from there, we got this brace right here we got to get off. This uh, is basically the tranny mount. I've already uh, used my um, breaker bar here and 11 16 deep socket to get those initial two bolts, the nuts off. They were pretty tough. Um, I mean, they were on there tight. They weren't hard to get off once I got the right tool. And then uh, your 9 16 here, and then I've, uh, you just kind of, you know, unscrew them in there. And then as long as you have this thing braced up, it's really easy just to get these bolts right up out of here. There's one. That one's kind of hard to see. I can get that out with my own hand pressure. I know I can. It's kind of hard to get to. There it is. Come on. It'll come. There you go. That's how that happens. Of course, if I didn't have the phone in my hand, I could uh, do a lot better with that, with two hands. But anyways, so now you see your modulator right there. And um, you got to remove this little hose here, this crucial tiny hose. Pull it out here. Another view of it back up in here. And uh, just take it down. And then pull it out from here. And then, voila, here's your little pin inside of there. And uh, you just got to screw that thing in or out. Now I had to modify this screwdriver because I left my tiny one at home. And then we'll just uh, put it right inside of there. And uh, turn that sucker in. And uh, it will go in a little bit. So I'm going to put it in there a few turns. I got to... Cut this uh, screwdriver down a little bit more to get it in there. You know, if you have one of those tiny little, like, eyeglass screwdrivers, you'll be good to go. I left mine at home. So, anyways, you get the idea. And, uh, obviously, put it back together. It's simple. Put your holes back on there. And then, uh, your, you know, your brace. And, and that's it, man. Not too tough. And uh, we'll see if it works. If not, I'm going to have to get this thing uh, brought into a shop, I guess. All right. So long.